What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna be going over the pros and cons and tips for the Tembo Tusk Scottle. Is it worth it? We'll find out today. The Tembo Tusk Scottle kit retails for about $3.95 these days and it comes with everything inside of this bag as well as the legs to hold it up. You can buy the, the Tembo Tusk on its own without getting the full kit, but the kit does come with the grill grate, the cover, the carrying bag, the burner, the scottle itself. It doesn't come with propane, but you can store the propane in here. And it didn't come with a spatula, but it does all fit in here. And that brings me to my first pro of the Tembo Tusk is that you can keep everything you need to grill and cook food all in one bag, which I really like just to keep it pretty minimal and keep things clean. So the first thing I usually do to get the, the scottle ready, so measure out the legs so you know how tall you want the Tembo Tusk to be. The Tembo Tusk comes with three legs and they all fit inside this pouch here. But the first thing I'll do is I'll just grab one, kind of test it out on the height that I'm thinking of putting the scottle on. So right here, waist high. And then what I'll do is I'll use this to measure out the rest of the legs. So after we get all of the legs on the same height, the best way to set up the scottle is by putting the legs on the scottle while it's still in the cover and then we're gonna take it off. So this is kind of the best way that I've found to set the scottle up. So get the legs in. There are these little screws down here that you need to screw on so that the legs stay intact. And after you get the legs all on there, you can then just grab the scottle by the legs. try to find like a level ground to put it on but essentially get the legs in there and then you can easily grab the scottle and now we're pretty much ready to go we just need to put the burner on just plugs in up here like this. and then we'll get the propane tank connected down here and the tempo Tusk does come with a adapter for the green propane tanks So now that we got the Tempo Tusk Scottle set up, that is kind of one of my first cons is that it is not the quickest to set up versus opening up a double burner stove and setting it down, throwing a cast iron on there. This one definitely takes about a couple more minutes to set up. Also, if you guys can notice here, the legs that come with the Tempo Tusk Scottle are not the best. So if you look at this, that's just how the legs are. A dog running by, this thing will topple over pretty easily. It's definitely come down during high winds. That's one of the cons I have about this whole scottle system is that the legs are just not the greatest. I have heard of people replacing the legs with something else, something that they've engineered. I've been using it as is and that's currently one of the gripes I have. This is also cast iron. This does stick. And so one of the other cons that I have is that for you to properly cook on this surface, you really need to use a lot of oil. And if you are trying to be on the more healthier side, the Tempo Tusk may not be the best solution for you because you do need to oil this really well. Otherwise, food will begin to stick on this. Another thing I've noticed too, I've seen people grill on the Scottles, but honestly, I'm not a big fan because all of the heat comes in from the middle. It takes a little bit of practice to figure out how to properly grill on this thing without burning things. What we usually use the Tembo Tusk for, the, what it's best for is actually saucy dishes, stir fries, any type of curry, stew, stuff like that where there's a lot of liquids and stuff moving around in the pan. That's usually what I find best. I have done burgers and whatnot in the past, but I, I definitely like more, anything that you can usually use a wok for, that is what I prefer to use this on. Anything else, I'll usually just grab the double burner stove with some cast iron and then I'll cook on there if I am doing like dogs, 
brats, anything like that. So definitely keep that in mind. I don't cook everything on this and we definitely move back and forth between the double burner Coleman stove and the Tembo Tusk Scottle. Today, what I'm gonna show you guys is breakfast fried rice and that type of dish is perfect for the Scottle. One slight correction that I have is that the Tembo Tusk Scottle kit, the, the 395 one, does not come with the grate or the cover. I did buy these as accessories and I believe for both of these, I believe I paid 45 bucks for them. So, but these are definitely well worth it. If you are going with the Tembo Tusk, I highly recommend grabbing the cover. Um, it helps cook food a lot faster. And then the grate here, which I use for, you know, campfire fajitas um, sometimes too. So I use this for dual purpose, but you can turn the scottle into a steamer where you can make, you can make cinnamon rolls using the grate and then boiling water underneath. So, if you guys are interested, I do have a video on that. I'll leave a link to it down below. Let's make some breakfast fried rice. First thing I'm gonna do, cut up the Spam. Get the Spam on there first. I got some onions and peppers that we're gonna be adding it to it as well. Getting the Tembo Tusk cleaned up here because we do have some residual food on the Scottle. And so that brings me to my next pro of the Scottle is that it is very easy to clean up. Similar to how you clean any cast iron. So all we gotta do is put plain water on here. As the water boils, it'll boil off and kind of clean off the gunk that was left on here from previously. Like I mentioned, the, the Scottle does require quite a bit of butter or any type of oil, so I'm gonna put a little bit of butter. I'll tell you guys right now, this is not a heart healthy thing. <laughs> and a couple tips for cooking on the Scottle. You definitely wanna keep food moving uh, because it is very easy to burn stuff on the Scottle because all of that heat is coming in from the middle. This is where the cover comes in handy. It makes things a lot faster to cook. All right, so as that Spam is cooking, I'm gonna start cutting up the onions and the peppers. So another reason why I really like the Tembo Tusk Scottle is because usually if I'm cooking bacon or something on the back of the tailgate, grease and stuff will actually uh, kind of splash over my stuff in the back of the truck. And so by having the Tembo Tusk kind of away from the camp or away from your gear, it's not as prone to, you know, making a big mess all over your stuff. That's another pro about having the Tembo Tusk is that it comes with everything you need to stand up and comfortably cook versus like if you have like the Coleman double burner, you really need to bring like a table or something with you so that you can have the double burner stove a lot closer to you versus having to bend over if I'm cooking on the floor. So that's what's cool about this is that it is an all encompassing unit. Fry up the Spam so it gets it kind of crispy. That's kind of the best, the best way that we like Spam. I mentioned the Tembo Tusk is about 395 and that's a pretty steep price for a cooking item and so I would definitely say the Scottle is m more on the luxury side of the house. Definitely not a requirement but makes camping a lot of fun. After I get the Spam all crispy I'm gonna add in the onions and peppers and then throw in the rice, cook the eggs last. But that brings me to my next pro of the Scottle is that you can cook a lot of food in this. I really like it whenever we, we go out with a, with a group because it's really easy to cook for a large group of people. I just remembered the other accessory that the accessory kit comes with, and that is this wind deflector right here for the burner. So that did not come with the Tembo Test Scottle. That was actually part of the accessory kit. So there's three things that the accessory kit comes with, the little burner shield, and then the cover and the grill. It's time to cook the onions. And one cool thing that I really like about the Tembo Tusk is that you can cook different food 
and still keep everything warm by utilizing these sides right here. So I'm gonna go push all of the spam to the side and expose the middle grill, which this has been really awesome for stuff like tortillas or if you're cooking multiple pieces of a dish, you can keep things warm here on the side. Throwing some spices in there, got some garlic powder, uh, garlic salt, some pepper, paprika, and cayenne. And if you notice any food sticking, feel free to just add more oil to help it deglaze itself. And that's kind of the big thing I had to learn about cooking on the Scottle is that you really can't be afraid to use oil. So don't be afraid, but I guess be afraid if you're trying to watch your heart health. <laughs> Keeping it easy, using some Uncle Ben's. Whenever you're using Uncle Ben's, put about a tablespoon of water to help it cook. Put a little bit of butter in the middle. It's been about a minute since the rice has been cooking, so now I'm just gonna mix everything together. All right, now we're gonna go get the eggs going. So I'm gonna split the rice in the middle again, create a pocket for the eggs. Throw another thing of butter in there, because who needs help? Salt and pepper the eggs. I'm just gonna let the eggs cook fully and then I'm gonna mix everything back up. Oh, it smells so good. Another cool thing about having the lid is that you can keep food warm inside of here. I will leave all of the pros and cons on the screen here just to give you guys a big recap of everything. The last couple times that we've gone out camping, we honestly have not been taking the Tembo Tusk. We've been taking our double burner stove just because it's been a little bit easier to pack. I've noticed that I've been gravitating towards the double bur burner stove more often. It's kind of a, definitely a luxury cooking item. So if it's worth it to you seeing the pros and cons, then you know, I highly do recommend it. I like it a lot. After a little bit of trial and error with not burning things on the Scottle, it definitely takes a little bit of learning. Just a full disclosure, I didn't pay for this myself. I actually got it as a gift. So thanks mom and dad. I'm giving you guys a totally unbiased opinion of it and some of the pros, cons, tips, tricks that have worked for me as we've used the Scottle over the last year. It really depends on what we're making for the night and whether or not that item that we're making is gonna do best on the Scottle or best using you know, the cast iron and the double burner stove. I don't know if I would buy it myself for $395 plus the accessories, you're really looking at about 450 for the entire unit, so it really depends on how you cook at camp and whether or not the pros outweigh the cons. Leave a comment down below. What are your guys' thoughts on it? Would you buy it? Would you, do you already have one? Do you like it? Would you buy it again? Let me know down in the comments below. 
And if you guys are new here, my name is Caden. I do a new video every week on pretty much anything outdoors, camping, hiking, fishing, gear review videos like this one. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check out the channel. We are currently camping out in the Lake Havasu area off of Craggy Wash Road. If you guys are interested in this area, I'll leave coordinates down below. And if you guys are interested in more camping videos with the Go Fast Camper or anything truck camping related, check out this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.